Fires in California continue to rage for a fourth day, but finally some progress and relief. Nearly 9,000 firefighters battling 18 blazes in Southern California caught a break today as the humidity rose and the winds shifted. At least six people have been killed and dozens injured. Nearly a million people have been evacuated. Meanwhile, special FBI teams have gathered evidence as part of a possible arson investigation into the fires. KITV's Caroline Slider caught up with folks who witnessed the devastation and just landed here on Oahu today. Caroline? Well, Sean, one phrase we kept hearing today from Californians is that they've never seen anything like this before. It's hard to imagine just how much of California is burning, but this is what the fires look like from space. At Honolulu Airport, we caught up with passengers just out of smoky Southern California. All over from the border, basically, all the way past Malibu. When I flew up to San Jose the other day, it was just nothing but smoke for probably 250 miles. Brian McSweeney's La Jolla home is safe in San Diego, but he says the smoke is everywhere. Evacuees are camping out at Qualcomm Stadium where the Chargers play. Tim Cease's brother lives in San Diego. He says the fire came within six blocks of his brother's house. California is getting drier and drier with the global warming. Um, and uh, just, yeah, but the level of evacuation is just scary, and I hope that they can handle things over there. Another couple is vacationing here from Big Bear, about eight miles from Lake Arrowhead, where numerous homes have burned. We were concerned, since we will be gone for so long, that we moved our cat out of our house just in case we come back and there's been an evacuation. So There's just fire everywhere. It's, it's, it's creepy, I guess. Corey Klein cut his family vacation short in California because of the fires and smoke. We were able to go to the beach just once, and the smoke is so bad that uh, it's just the sky is orange and brown, and it's really hard to breathe. Those arriving in Honolulu say they're glad to get out of the smoke, but also concerned about their friends and neighbors back home. Now, many people we talk to say they've taken in friends and family members who've had to evacuate. And again, they say they've never seen anything like this before. Caroline Slider, KITV4 Island Television News. Okay, thank you, Caroline.